I was at Saddlebrook for a few months. That's a for you, those you don't know, it's a tennis academy in Wesley Chapel near Tampa. So I'm at Saddlebrook for a few months, and they helped me with my recruiting process. They helped me make a tennis video. They helped me um, compose an email to write to coaches, teach me what to say, and that sort of stuff. I knew nothing about college tennis, so I reached out to a bunch of schools, like f between 50 and 100 schools I emailed. I got a few responses back. So then I got an offer from maybe three or four schools, Division One schools, like the lower Division One. My school, the one that I ended up choosing, from my from my understanding is I had the same offer as the other schools, like roughly the same offer, same scholarship. So I said, okay. I thought it was the best option. I didn't have time to go because I had to. It was like in the fall, and I had to start in the spring, otherwise I lose eligibility. So I signed for my school and I go. Um, I play a season. I play five. I don't do that good. I do okay. But I don't think I'm good enough to transfer. Like you said about value, I don't think I have any value to go to any school that's better. So if I leave and I transfer, I'm going to have to walk on at another school. So I decided, okay, I'm going to stay, try and play. And I asked my coach if I can get more scholarship. He says yes. So I'm thinking that I have a little bit more scholarship for the next season. And when the, like the bill comes, I actually have less scholarship because what I was promised was spread out for a full year and I got it in one semester. Mm -hmm. So let's say, I don't want to call a number, but let's say, let's say it's $6, right? I said, okay, I'm going to get $6 a semester. That takes a good chunk of the scholarship, but the $6 was supposed to be spread out for the whole year. Mm -hmm. So the next semester I got eight, $8. So I'm thinking, okay, now I got $8, but what I actually have is $4 because it's four and four. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I end up having to pay more money for my second semester there. And I paid that for a year before I actually got decent results and I can apply for other scholarships like academic scholarships and that sort of stuff. And then by the end of it, it was okay. But the first two years, I was paying a decent amount of money and I was not, that's not my understanding of what was supposed to happen. So I guess now tying it back to your guys' company, how could you guys help? I guess you can explain, um, it's your first time, I guess, being public with, with your company. So why don't you tell tell the um the audience what your company is about what recruits it is about and why my problem would not have happened if if you guys existed before. right so let me start from the beginning like i said i was like a pretty good pretty good recruit and i no coaches really reached out to me like again even before that eight-year result when i did sign for usf i already had atp points so like you would think like at least some coaches would reach out but they they really didn't so i think like the core issue for at least for first of all for coaches is the fact that like for, to recruit they like either go to a tournament or they go to the office go to the computer and go to the utr website and start like looking at players like hey this player this player and then try finding them on instagram and then like try finding their phone numbers and then messaging them and even when they do message them they don't even know if like that player wants to play college tennis mm -hmm. and then if they do start talking to them they don't really know much details about them what their gpa is what their budget is what they can pay and like when you talk with a coach, you kind of beat around the bush for the first three, four weeks. It's inefficient. Like, yeah. Oh, about like scholarship and stuff. You really don't want to get to that point. Um, and yeah, but for for our platform as a player, you would come on, you would connect your UTR, your WTN numbers to your account. You would have a bio, all of your results. You can upload your match videos. Um, also, you can upload your transcripts, which will have your GPA, SAT scores, all of that. And we're also like we're we have an AI AI already for international players. Where say you're French. You go on, upload your transcript, and it like automatically translate to translate that. Sorry, so translate is that to GPA, and then the last thing is the budget. A player just lists his budget range, what he's able to pay, um, from like zero to five thousand dollars all the way to up, up to like ninety five to one hundred thousand, and all those details are on your profile. And as a coach, again, if you want to play college tennis, you sign up for our pl platform. It's free. You put in all those details in your account, and as a coach, he would then log on. And then search, for example, I need a player for 2025 with above a $30,000 budget, above a 9.2 ETR, and above a 3.0 GPA. And those players would, would pop up, and he would be able to message them straight through a platform. And yeah, start having conversations. Um, obviously, it's more personal than just stats. But that's the point, like, to narrow it down to the coaches and then start, like, having conversations with, with that player. And again, with your situation with the budget and stuff, you can list that, like, on the profile. And then the coach again can can see that straight away. So pretty much it's like the coach gets to say what they are looking for. The player gets to say yeah, what they're same looking for. same for the player. He has the search profile filters of team UTR. He can um, we're gonna have a feature again where 
it'll have an algorithm it'll, where it'll show you the schools that are closest to you based on the UTR, the academics, everything, and it'll okay. recommend schools for you. And then you can search for yourself on the search filters. Like I need a school with this tuition, this team UTR. Um, we'll even have details like do they provide stringing rackets, what clothes, like we'll, we're trying to make it as, as detailed as possible. Yeah. And for your case, uh, per se, like we're doing a lot of stuff, right? We have that AI, the AI stuff that, that puts your transcripts, like university is very expensive to translate it, put it to GPA. We have no idea what GPA is, to be honest. And, and for your, for your case, Oh, and all of that is free, by the way. Yeah. Like, they're making it free. They're, again, the core is free. Everything is free. The core, you can make your profile, talk to coaches. If you need extra help, there's, like, add-on packages and stuff, consultations, some some extra boosts and stuff. But the core of the platform is, is free completely. Yeah, and for your case, so what are we, what are we trying to make with Recruiter, right? What's our mission, right? We know that people that have good um, co uh, junior careers, they, they get messages and, and, like, they get a, a ton of messages on, on Instagram, like, and they just kind of reply very informal, but we're worried about the general public, like right? kids that are, mm -hmm. we're, we're not top 50, we're not top 100, that that actually want to achieve their potential, right? A lot of people, they go to, to agents and they spend four or five K and an agent just calls like eight of his friends, nine of his friends and say, look, look, I have this player, you want him or not? So what we try, <laughs> pretty much, look, <laughs> what, we, what we're trying to do is like make it democratic and just makes in a way that like, Imagine you, if you was in your case, you have in your platform, you put what you want to pay, where you want to go, um, what you can see the UTRs from the team, and then you can have exposure to 200, 300, 400 schools. Like we want to make sure you go to a place you want, paying the, the price that's fair, and we want to give you that opportunity. We want to make it democratic. So we, that's why we decided the platform should be free. I think everyone should have the opportunity to to go and see all the doors they can, right? And if they need a special help or, or something like this, they can always get some of the premiums. But it's for you having your best college experience. 